Hello everyone, I'm Savio Mello and this is the Hot 2000 training demonstration video. This video aims to showcase all the functions required for the XAMPP workshop operation. Uh, before uh, showing all the functions in the Hot 2000, I would like you to show you our sample project. So as you can see, it's a pretty basic house, one single story, with two windows, uh, one door, and uh, two occupants. So let's move back to our Hot 2000. So the first thing is click on create a new house. Here we're gonna need to specify the number of the housing components. So in our case we have one ceiling, four main walls, one foundation, zero exposed floor, one door, and two windows. And also we have the option to specify op optional systems like ventilation systems and domestic hot water. We're gonna leave just domestic hot water. And then we click create. So here you can see an overview of the Hot 2000 uh, program and the first information are related to the general specification of the house. So for instance here we can type the type of our file ID I'm gonna leave it my simple project and then you can also specify the type of ownership if it is a dwelling private, a federal housing, a provision housing I'm gonna keep it as a dwelling and then you can also type the num name of the client first name client last name, the telephone, the street address, the city, the region, the postal code and, and uh, the other informations and if you have an, an additional information, you can click here in info and you can add or more information here. Uh, let's move on to specification. Now we need to specify all these types of information here. So the first thing is house type. So as you can see here, we have uh, many options, like if it is a single detached, a triplex, a duplex, a mobile home. So in our case, it's just a single detached. And also you need to specify the number of stories, if it is a one story, two stories, three stories, in our case it's just one. The next is the plan shape, which can be T shape, L shape, other five, six corners, in our case it's a rectangular shape. And also the front orientation, which will be in our case north. So the next thing we need to specify is the type of thermal mass. So as you can see, it can be light, medium, heavy, or very heavy. In our case, I'm gonna select heavy. You also need to specify the foundation soil condition. Let's keep it normal here. And also the water table lev level, which can be normal as well. So here in the year built, as you can see, we don't have 2016. So in this case, you need to click in user super specify and then type 2016 here. Uh, the wall color as you can see in our sample project it's uh, a dark gray here and the roof color as you can see again I would say it's a um, medium brown so you just click here and select medium brown okay let's move on to the weather so you know, this year the workshop is held in Curitiba so let's change the weather file to the Curitiba weather so as you can see here you have the region Brazil and the location Curitiba so let's move on to full cost um, you can leave the information like this one as the full uh, the next one is units and modes. You can leave it metric. The next one is window tightness. You can leave this as the full and also the code summary. So we just finished the basic information about the uh, our sample project. We specified this bit, uh, the general specification of the house, the weather, and additional information if you have it. So right now let's move on 
to um, specify our housing components. Let's start with the ceiling. So here you can create a ceiling label. I'm going to leave it like this one here. And the next thing is going to need to specify the construction and the measurements. So in our case, you can have a, a flat um, ceiling, a scissor ceiling, an attic hip, an attic gable, in our case, a gable. And then we need to specify our ceiling type. So here you click in new code. And then you can also again create a new label for this code. And you need to specify the structure type, the component type, the spacing, the any insulation layer if you have, and also any material that you have in the in interior. So in our case, it's just be a solid uh, ceiling. And I'm gonna leave it in uh, also this type of specification. And here you, you need also to uh, specify the measurements. I'm gonna leave it five here, and then also the roof slope. I'm gonna leave it as this one here and we can move on to the walls so the first one here will be the this one which is facing south so we can type here south if you like and then specify our the type of our wall so here you come you go to new code and then you can also again create a label, a label if you want. Uh, and also we need to specify the structure type, the component type, the spacing, insulation layer if you have, interior, sheeting, exterior. So in our case, it's uh, solid again with 75 millimeters in concrete. I'm gonna leave all this as the full information, but you can change it according to your project. Okay, and then we need to specify our high as well, which would be 2.8, oh, sorry, and 5 meters. Uh, and that's okay, let's move on to the second wall. The second wall will be this one here, facing north. So you can select here north and then also type here north and then we need to specify again our type of structure and then all the specifications here and the high as well and also the parameter okay let's move on to the third wall so our third wall will be this one here facing east uh, again we need to specify our type of wall and then you click new code and then select your structure type in our case it's just solid and then the high will be 2.8 and the perimeter it will be 10 meters and let's move on to our fourth wall which will be this one here you can also type here west and select here west again specify the wall type new code and then select our type of structure our height and the parameter which is this one here so we are finished with the setting the of all the four walls but as you can see we have here in our sample project we have one door and two windows so we need to add this to the program so as you can see the window is in the north wall so we can come back here to the 
wall number two which is the one facing north and then we have two options we can come here and click on this button and just add door or you can press the right button of your mouse and then click on add house component and then select door here you can create uh, a new label for the door I'm gonna leave this one here and also you need to specify the type of your door if it is a wood hollow core a solid wood a steel fiber glass core and I'm gonna keep it like it's solid wood and then dimensions will be this one okay and now let's move on to our wall number three we need to add this window here so you can also come here and click on add window or you can click with the right button of the mouse and then add house component and just click window so here you have uh, also the window orientation which is already east here you need to specify the type again if it is a uh, here you can specify the glazing types the coating the fill if you have the window type the frame material so in our case will be aluminum but the glazing type can be single glazing double glazing triple glazing I'm gonna leave it as single glazing and the window type also you can be skylight slider with slash I'm gonna keep just picture here and the coat in the tints you can as you can see can be reflective tint clear I'm gonna leave it as clear and you need also to specify the width and also the high that's okay mm. and then we need to move on to our to this one here so let's go back to wall number four and then click with the right button of the mouse add house component window and here we do the same thing we need to click on new code and then specify the glazing types the window type the frame material um, it's so let's keep it the same as the previous one and also we need to specify the width and the high if you have any overhang uh, you can type here as well the, the dimensions in our case I don't have any overhang so we are so far we have completed the ceiling the four walls the two windows and the one door so let's move on to foundation so in this case in the foundation I'm gonna delete it this house component and we click in here in house and we're gonna select um, it's lab on gray this will be the type of the foundation in our sample project here you well again you need to specify the length and the width and also if you click here and then you can specify if there is any insulation in the foundation or if there is a skirt or without skirt in our case I'm gonna leave it this first option here mm, and then let's move on to the temperatures so the heating point it can be uh, I don't know let's say 20 degrees just for this purpose of this demonstration in the cooling setting point I'm gonna leave it 28 okay. so let's move on to base load uh, here you can uh, specify all the types of average interior load like electric appliance lighting other electric internal gains basement if you have it uh, hot water load and also you need to specify the number of equipment that they have. I'm gonna leave this one as a default. But again, you can specify according to your 
project and to see your project if you have photovoltaic system you just click here and then you need to specify the manufacturer the model the array area flow plasma and other information about your photovoltaic system in our case we don't have the photovoltaic system and you can move on to the natural air importation here you need to specify the house volume and other information and the type of uh, building site in our case will be uh, let's see we can select open flat terrain grass and I'm gonna leave all this information as default about heating and cooling system uh, you have to select one of these two types type 1 or type 2 I'm gonna leave this one as a default and the season as you can see I would say here the cooling start in December and finish on April and the design month will be March the next one we need to specify its fans and pumps uh, I'm gonna leave this one as a default and also the baseboard as well so the heating cooling system is selected let's move on to domestic hot water so here if you have a primary or secondary uh, hot uh, domestic hot water system you can select here the energy source if it is electricity, natural gas, oil, propane, mixed wood, hard wood, soft wood in our case I'm gonna leave it as uh, not applicable but you can also specify so before generating our uh, report here you can come and click on this summary view so you can check if you have all the information is correct so the number of your ceilings if it is okay the number of walls if it is all done here the windows the the doors, as you can see, we have just one door, so let's del delete this one here. Exposed floor, none, rooms, foundations, level grade, and floor filler. Okay, so just click in here and preview again. And then, if you would like to uh, generate the full house report, you just come here in report and then click full house report now here you have all the information about the uh, the energy efficiency of the house the house temperatures the window characteristics the window code schedule the building parameters details foundations um, building assembly building parameter summary air liquid and ventilation and all the uh, information related to the energy consumption estimated annual food consumption if you have it and that's it I hope this video is very helpful for you and thank you so much